Lesson 10 for June 1 through to 7, Little Times of Trouble, read by Dr. Percy Harold. Friday, June 7. From the book Adventist Home, pages 314 and 315, we read, Too often the parents are not united in their family government. The father, who is with his children but little, and is ignorant of their peculiarities of disposition and temperament, is harsh and severe. He does not control his temper, but corrects in passion. The child knows this, and instead of being subdued, the punishment fills him with anger. The mother allows misdemeanours to pass at one time, for which she will severely punish at another. The child never knows just what to expect, and attempted to see how far they can transgress with impunity. Thus are sown seeds of evil that spring up and bear fruit. End of quote. And from the same book, pages 195 and 196. Home is to be the centre of the purest and most elevated affection. Peace, harmony, affection and happiness should be perseveringly cherished every day until these precious things abide in the hearts of those who compose the family. The plant of love must be carefully nourished, else it will die. Every good principle must be cherished if we would have it thrive in the soul. That which Satan plants in the heart, envy, jealousy, evil surmising, evil speaking, impatience, prejudice, selfishness, covetousness and vanity must be uprooted. If these evil things are allowed to remain in the soul, they will bear fruit by which many shall be defiled. Oh, how many cultivate the poisonous plants that kill out the precious fruits of love and defile the soul. End of quote. And that brings us to our two discussion questions for this week. One, read the following quote from a book about marriage by Clifford Goldstein, The Mules That Angels Ride, page 25. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin, Hebrews 4.15. Just as Christ put himself in our situation to best relate to us, we should do the same with our marriage partner. Try to view any given situation or crisis not just from your own perspective, but from your spouse's. See how he or she views the situation, how it has an impact on him or her, and why he or she would feel about it the way he or she does. This principle can go a long way in alleviating tough situations. End of quote. In what ways can we apply this principle to all areas of potential conflict with others? And two, in class, answer the question, Is anger always a sin? Defend your position. Inside Story Our mission story this week is titled Paying with Prayer, and it's by Andrew McChesney of Adventist Mission. Chumba Samilla was being expelled from the University of Zambia. He owed 9,000 Zambian kwaka, about 900 US dollars, and he had no idea where to obtain the money. But Samilla wasn't going to give up. He was studying for a bachelor's degree at the public university while teaching at Rasanga Secondary School, a Seventh-day Adventist boarding academy in Zambia. Samilla approached various people to ask to borrow the money. He looked for a way to sell his car, a maroon Toyota Volts. He prayed to God to intervene. Then he went to a bank in Monza, the nearest town to Rasanga Secondary School, to apply for a loan. He learned, however, that the bank had stopped offering loans. As he dejectedly left the bank, a friend called out on the street, Can I hire your car for twenty-one days? Sir Miller looked up. There is a white man who has a daughter coming here for the holidays, the friend said. He wants to travel. He asked me to look for a sound car, and I think yours will do. That sounds like an opportunity, Sir Miller said. What should I do? Just take your car to the car wash, the friend said. Sir Miller gave his car a good wash and met with the man who was spending several months with a friend in Monza. He said he wanted to take his daughter on a tour of Zambia and offered 12,000 kwaka to borrow the car for 21 days. The amount was enough to buy a second-hand car. 
I couldn't believe it, Samilla said in an interview. The man wanted to take the car on a Saturday. Samilla needed the money, but he refused, not wanting to engage in a business transaction on the Sabbath. No, we can meet on Sunday, he said, praying silently that the man wouldn't change his mind. The man agreed to pick up the car on Sunday and offered him the cash on the spot. Samilla promptly returned tithe and went to the university to pay his bill. He never was expelled and graduated in 2016. Now, more than ever, he believes in the power of prayer. Be patient and trust in God, says Samilla, age 37. You might struggle to do this or that, but he knows what you want. His appointed time always comes. The Rasanga Mission, where the secondary school is located, was established with mission funds in the early 1900s. Thank you for your mission offering. You have been listening to a reading of the Adult Sabbath School Bible Study Guide by Dr. Percy Harold from Queensland, Australia. This service is brought to you by Hope Channel, the Sabbath School Department and Christian Services for the Blind. Remember, God is always faithful.